High Level Standing Committee completed its uh, analysis of the implementation status and agreed on the way forward. And the agreement on the way forward is that every party to the agreement would provide its own version of the way forward. And indeed, the IT GONU, the SPLMIO, the OPP, the FDs, and so on, have provided their proposals as to how we should proceed from there. Under governance, the Artignu Council of Ministers and the Reconstituent Transitional National Legislature have continued to convene regularly and discharge their respective mandates. In July 2024, the Reconstituent Transition National Legislative Assembly, TNLA, passed some pieces of legislation, including the National Security Service Bill 2024, the National Bureau of Statistics Act 2018 Amendment Bill 2024, and the Anti-Money Laundering and Counter-Terrorism Financing Act 2012 Amendment Bill 2024. However, the issue of the National Security Service Bill 2024 is concerning. This bill was passed by the TNLA with the contentious provisions, Article 54 and 55, retaining the powers of the National Security Service to arrest without warrant and detain suspects. It was subsequently forwarded to the President for assent, who I understand requested a legal opinion from the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs. I would like to hear an update from the Aratiginu on the status of this bill. Regarding the inter-party dialogue, the high-level standing committee of the parties signatory to the Aracris confirmed that it had submitted its review of progress on the implementation of the roadmap to the presidency.